world order out there, and we've got to lead it. Frankly, our central bank has been slow, and there's an appointment coming in January of 22. The president's got to decide whether to change over who's leading the Federal Reserve. For those of you who don't know, this the next-gen $100 note is the last denomination of that uh, particular family of notes. We're working on the future generation of currency, so that is my other job. I think the train's already left the station in terms of cryptocurrency. Uh, you may or may not know that I just joined the board of Ripple, and the reason why I chose to, to join that board, it's, in my opinion, one of the few cryptocurrency options out there that has a credible and legitimate use. So financial institutions use it to settle cross-border payments. That is called a bridge crypto or bridge currency. That's, in fact, what Ripple is trying to do with XRP. World taxation and one world money. They've worked for years behind the scenes preparing to realize that vision. They've literally rigged the laws of international finance. Everything is basically in place right now. And there's essentially no way to stop this from happening. There are some cryptos that are working with regulators and are working with banks. I agree. Ripple right. would be an example. Ripple would be an example, right. Now, this is a, and and I, can, I can imagine in the next five years, instead of us doing sterling against the dollar or sterling against yen and doing these kinds of transactions, we'll do sterling versus Ripple. Now, the, the, there's a, there is a fundamental issue with, um, say, Bitcoin in its current form uh, in that it's the transaction volume is very limited um, and uh, the latency it's the latency for for a properly confirmed transaction is too is too long much longer than you'd like